presenting you all our very first PC build. Done for and by beyond the spec team. Now let's dive into the specs. Starting with the processor, we have gone with the AMD Ryzen 5 3500. It's a 6 core, 6 thread CPU based on the Zen 2 architecture. The strong point of AMD CPUs has always been their multi core performance. Since this PC will be used for heavy workloads that needed more processing cores, the Ryzen 5 3500 was an easy choice to go with. This processor is placed on a Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. There were a few motherboards with an AM4 socket which support the Ryzen 5. But since we wanted a little bit of more extra durability and room for other upgrades, the Gigabyte B450M offered great specs and value for money as well. Our version of the motherboards come with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cards too. For a graphics card, we had a few options, namely the NVIDIA GTX 1650, GTX 1660, or the AMD Radeon RX 570. In the end, we decided to go with the GTX 1650 from Zotac Gaming, just because it manages to deliver optimal performance for a reasonable cost. It packs 4GB of VRAM, which serves for most of its purposes. Even the latest of AAA titles can run on this with little to no hiccups. DaVinci Resolve, which is a GPU-bound application, does not seem to have any sort of issues on this GTX 1650. The RAM that we have installed is the Corsair Vengeance LPX16GB clocked at 3200MHz. It complements the CPU and GPU well by having enough memory to support light to moderate heavy softwares. Storage is managed by a pair of SSD and HDD. The OS is installed on the SSD to reduce boot times and improves the overall responsiveness of the system. Mass storage is handled by a Seagate Barracuda hard drive with 2 TB of storage and runs at 7200 RPM. The secondary softwares which we need are sorted on the hard drive. This setup is powered by an Antec 650W 80 plus power supply. It's higher efficiency and wattage serves perfectly for a build, even with some upgrades over time. It was supplied with cables that can support most of our needs in this build. All of this sit neatly in a Cooler Master K501L RGB case. This case supports from mini ATX to full size ATX motherboards. Included with this case are 3 RGB fans in the front and one standard fan at the back. We replaced our back fan with an RGB one for added style. This fan setup can handle most of the cooling requirements for these components. It has a dedicated SSD bay in the front if you would like to put it there. Two 3.5 inch Hard drive bays are present at the back to consolidate your mass storage too. There is a lot of room in the back to help with cable management. The power supply sits underneath a cover. A filtered vent allows the power supply to get fresh air from below the case. And another vent on the top with a magnetic dust filter allows for more ventilation. This cabinet comes with a tempered glass cover on one side to showcase the internals. Overall, this is a very well built cabinet both in terms of quality and design. Now that we have gone through the component list, it's time for us to start building.
Doesn't that look amazing? Let us know in the comments. Now talking about why we chose them and how they work in Harmony, the Ryzen 5 processor is good at handling heavy CPU bound workloads such as video editing, audio editing, etc. The GTX 1650 is also a very capable card that can be used for gaming as well as workloads which need that extra GPU acceleration. Adding an SSD and 16GB of RAM makes this a perfect all-rounder machine for a beginner who wants to get started with gaming, game streaming, content creation and everything in between. Do let us know if you want a dedicated video for the performance on this beast. The people who follow us on Instagram would know that this video was in the making for a long time. It would be highly appreciated if you could like the video and subscribe to see more content like this and stay tuned for more. Beyond the spec. Signing out.